It's the OCG Fam Show. Is mycorrhiza just another microbial? Let's talk about it. Hey there! Set my coffee down. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG. The lens is messed up. There's something on there. Hold on a second. Is that better? Is that worse? Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam. It's way worse. Hold on a second. To the OCG fam show to you, my YouTube buddies, what's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Speaking of the comments, DK had a question in the comments that we answered on a viewer question show a spell back, but I wanted to make it a, a separate freestanding episode because it's an important topic because we're talking about mycorrhiza. So he asked, hey, if I'm using uh, cultured teas or, um, you know, using some compost teas or whatever, some kind of microbial product, microblight, photo plus, whatever, do I still use the mycorrhiza, the Bigfoot mycorrhiza specifically, and the answer is yes, in short, because it is, uh, while it is a microbial, it is a different kind of thing entirely, but, uh, and you all probably know that, it's, you know, a symbiotic kind of relationship with the roots differently than uh, working in the soil, some of the other microbial type things, but Scott went into it, and it was interesting, and I thought you might find it interesting, I did, so watch this clip, and then I'll talk to you after. Would this be used in place of or along with cultured biologic teas? He's talking about the Bigfoot, Bigfoot mycorrhiza. So now let's talk about that somewhat in depth because it's an interesting thing. So Bigfoot mycorrhiza is a microbial mycorrhiza. product, right? Well, it's a mycorrhiza product. It's a fungal product, yeah. So, but I think maybe some people think of it, you know, you got your microbial photo plus, you got your SLF 100, and you got all these microbials. You got the cultured teas, which are in a bag. You pour them on the stuff, but... Different situation, different scenario. So, because there's so there's the granular. Yeah. The granular. I guess I'm talking. It's about. It makes a little fungal. It makes a symbiotic relationship with the roots. And they're soluble. Yeah. I mean, it's just how they carry the product in a package. Mm -hmm. So, but that's a somewhat different situation from culture teas, microbe life, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, cultured's doing more of a broad spectrum bacteria and fungus. So yeah. you've got it all in one. If you were looking just for the mycorrhiza piece, which mm -hmm. when I'm inoculating for mycorrhiza, I make sure I use just mycorrhiza. Yeah, so okay. I'm trying to make that connection. I'm trying to make that happen and that symbiosis between that mycorrhiza and that plant. That's its own relationship that's outside of all the different forms of bacteria and stuff that they're putting in the cultured products. When you use the cultured products, I kind of look at that as you're re-inoculating the mycorrhiza, but you're increasing the spores of your bacteria in the soil, so you're getting more efficient nutrient cycling. Um, at transplant, I use strictly just mycorrhiza because uh -huh. I'm just trying to get the root and the stress for that plant, and the transplant stress to not be as great by adding that root to this. To get it a head start. It just, yeah, yeah. it kind of ensures that you're going to get a faster, more efficient root system while that plant is struggling to just take root. So it aids in that rooting piece. Okay, what do you think of that? Did you find that entertaining, informative, useful? Um, I hope so. Uh, I guess that's it. Other than, um, what do you got going? What do you want to talk about next? Let me know. We'll do that tomorrow. I love you. Have a good day. That's it. That's the show. I'm going to go. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.